Welcome back. In the previous video, we have set up a simple HTML form in React. In this video, let's add React hook form to our project. Let's begin by installing the package. In the terminal, navigate to the project folder and run the command npm install React hook form. Once the installation is complete, an entry for React hook form should appear in package.json file. We are now ready to start using this library. In YouTube form.tsx, we are going to import a hook called use form from the React hook form library with the line import use form from React hook form. This hook is the primary tool the library provides for managing forms with ease. Since a hook is essentially a function, let's call it inside our component. While this hook accepts an optional object as argument, it's not essential for the section on fundamentals. What's important is the object this hook returns, which we will call form. This object will also help us with the three points we have been discussing related to working with forms, which are managing form data, submitting form data, and dealing with form validation and feedback. While these points may seem repetitive, it's crucial to emphasize these and understand what the library is here to accomplish. But now that we have the React hook form library installed, and we have called the use form hook within our component, in the next video, let's explore how React hook form helps us with the first point, managing form data.